Hello everyone. Our topic for now will be provisional restoration in a fixed partial denture. Provisional restoration. What does that mean? Is provisional means something which is temporary for provision basis. Restoration that we will give after the preparation of the teeth in the fixed partial denture patients. It may be vital tooth preparation or it may not be a vital tooth preparation, but provisional restoration is must. In every case that you do for a fixed partial dentures. Now, why is that so? What are it going to help us with? Now, provisional restoration first and foremost, it helps in the pulp protection. How is helped in the pulp protection? Because in a vital tooth cutting, or how does it help in a pulp protection in a vital tooth preparation? Once the provisional restoration is placed, it will not allow the saliva to percolate inside. So once the saliva is not percolating inside, so the pulp will be protected. So this is how we are protecting the pulp because we are giving a complete layer of some acrylic or any other material to prevent the percolation of saliva and other fluids, oral fluids. Also, it is giving the positional stability. It also denotes us that how the final fixed partial denture is going to come up. What are the occlusal corrections that we are requiring over there? It also maintains the occlusal function because for the time being when the patient will not have the occlusion because we have already reduced the tooth structure in that particular area in the occlusion as well in 1.5 mm or 2 mm. So that provisional restoration that we will give will help in the occlusion. And also aesthetics for sure because if it is an anterior and you have prepared the tooth that looks very bad and unugly. So to prevent it to look ugly, we will give a provisional restoration. So rationally, it will be the tooth pulp protection, vitality of the pulp is protected, healing matrix, it acts as a healing matrix because once you are preparing the tooth, the gingiva is, can also get hurt. So if the gingiva is getting hurt, something over that will protect it to get more hurt because of the other liquids. So it is defined as a fixed or removable prosthesis designed to enhance the aesthetic stabilization or function for a limited period of time after which it is replaced with a definitive prosthesis. Terminologies that can also be called as treatment restoration, temporization, interim restorations of fixed partial dentures. So the requirements remains the same. It should protect the pulp foremost thing because what happens in a vital tooth preparation is we have exposed the dentine. So once we have exposed the dentine, it should not be causing any sensitivity to the particular patient if we have kept it open. Positional stability should be maintained. Occlusally, it should be helping. It should not be a material which will break when the occlusal is going to load is going to come over it. It should be easily cleansable and it should not be impinging onto the gingiva. The strength and the retention of the provisional restoration that we will give should be fair enough. Good bond strength should be there and it should be able to take up the occlusal load coming over it. And aesthetics of course, it should be pleasing aesthetic with the color. The tooth color acrylic is used or the other shades which are used are to be managed. Now see this is an advantage as well. Now we will also understand the shade and the final prosthesis that we have to give. So classification it can be prefabricated or it can be custom made. Now prefabricated like stock aluminium cylinders, like we have an atomic metal crown forms, we have clear celluloid cells, we have polycarbonate crowns, very beautiful polycarbonate crowns are also available in the market. Custom fabricated, we'll see how do we made it. Now based on the technique that can be like for the custom made, it can be direct or it can be indirect. Direct technique, that means directly in orally in the mouth. Indirect technique in outside the mouth, that is extra orally. So why is indirect technique preferred? Why not direct technique preferred? Because in the mouth, intraorally when you are doing something like polymethylmethacrylate is the material that we will use. Now that liberates free monomer. So once that is liberating free monomer and our dentine is also exposed. So it can go up to the dentine and cause severe sensitivity if the patient has a vital tooth present. So we need to avoid the direct method as much as possible. Now, I want the, every method will have its pros and cons. Advantages of direct method, it is very fast, easily. 
and where is the disadvantage is technique sensitive poor fit is there and it can cause thermal and chemical irritation because of the exposed dentin and the free flowing monomer from polymethyl methacrylate what are the advantages of indirect technique that is more accurate the marginal fit is any time better than that of the direct restoration there is no damage to the pulp per se and the soft tissue as well because we are preparing it on the cast outside the mouth of the patient and we will have all the corrections possible that can be done outside and then finally taken in travel techniques for custom provisional restoration it can be over impression fabricated provisional crowns it can be template fabricated provisional crowns it can be shell crowns it can be aluminum shell crowns it can be preformed metal crowns commercially available it can be cellulose acetate crown polycarbonate crowns as well three popular resins that are used for fabrication of provisional restorations are first auto polymerizing polymethyl methacrylate which is commonly used we all know it is a self cure acrylic vinyl polyethyl methacrylate now this is less commonly used because its color stability is not there in this particular material and restoration it darkens with time of course we are not supposed to keep it for longer time but though if we keep it the studies say the restoration gets darker and of course we have mine resins these are the prefabricated polycarbonate beautiful crowns which i was talking about so you have different size and shapes of the different teeth so now what happens is you have prepared one teeth you in these polycarbonate crowns you will fill the resin you will mix the resin in a dappled dish you will fill in this and you will put it in thoroughly or on the cast now what is the advantage of these kind of thing is you get an excellent contour of the tooth firstly secondly the gingiva is not getting hurt thirdly the contours of the margins are very intact perfectly fitting techniques used for fabrication of custom made provisional restorations how do we do it first and foremost thing in every patient that we should keep in mind is diagnostic cast is must what will happen if you have a diagnostic cast now if you have a diagnostic cast the the area that you are supposed to prepare like for example this area which is supposed to prepare you can make a putty index of this particular area so first you will do a wax up where there has to be a restoration coming over so wax up and then wax up has its own importance wax up you can show to the patient get an approval that this is your final restoration teeth positions if you want any changes in that that the patient can say you at that point of time so you can also anticipate the overjet over by the occlusion because occlusion cannot be seen from lingual area until it is outside in a cast then you make the putty index of that particular with the wax stuff then so then in the putty index you can use your acrylic resin and that can be adapted to the cast which will come from after preparation of the tooth now this was the putty index before preparation of the tooth now you prepare the tooth and now you again get a cast on that cast you will adapt this not on the cast of the diagnostic so once we adapt it into the cast which has already prepared tooth we will find that the acrylic resins are going to the area and also onto the prepared tooth where it is done this same method can be done intraorally as well but again i said intraorally it can go up to chemical and thermal challenges to the dentin because of free flowing monomers from polymethyl methacrylate that we use maximum finish and cemented provisionals that is before cementing the provisionals you must look after the contours of the provisional restoration the contour should be exactly following the gingival margin it should not impinge on the gingiva it should have the perfect pontic design that you are supposed to give in the final restoration because it should be easy to clean for the patient till the time he saw or she is wearing a provisional restoration techniques used in fabrication of provisional restoration using light cured resins and how do we do that again we go for a wax up modeling that is for most important diagnostic cast and wax up is important for every case and of course a putty index we'll come with a putty index of this and then we have a thermal thermoplastic sheets present 
So we will adapt the thermoplastic sheet with the help of vacuum form machines which is there. So that when the thermoplastic sheets get adapted like you can see here there is a thermoplastic sheet which is adapted. Onto that you can use different materials like for example you can use composites, you can use uh, polyacrylic resin, polymethyl methacrylates, you can also use any other material per se which is available in the market. Like for example pro temp or cool temp. These are the materials which we commercially get for chair side provisional restorations can also be used. For light curing part that we can uh, in these thermoplastic sheets then you will put the light cure resin. You can adapt it well to the margin as well in the thermoplastic sheets and then you can put the UV light onto that to cure it. After it is cured you remove it and again cure the back portion. The portion that has on the gingival side and then finally remove it you get beautiful contour of the provisional restorations other provisional restorations that you can be using is also the bisacrylic raisins that has come over me other than that to say about the different techniques of custom made it can be direct indirect and there can be another technique that is indirect direct technique what does that mean that means a diagnostic cast is made you make a wax up, you do a putty index on that. After the putty index is taken out, now you use those pro temp and cool temp in that and put it in the patient's mouth of the prepared tooth. So that is indirect and then directly technique. So it is indirect, direct technique. Is that clear? Prefabricated restorations we do get that is the mold selections for temporary polycarbonate crowns. You need to select the mold, the shape and the size of the teeth. Also, you need can be selecting the color which you are desiring in the patient's mouth. Also, you can size it up. You can cut those prefabricated polycarbonate crowns as required of the patient. If there is some oversized, you can even cut it out. And then you can improve the fit with the help of razors because not every crown is going to get the perfect butt fit. So, you need to do it with the help of the raisins. Cemented temporary in the place, but that is very important after placement of the temporary. Use your floss to see if there is any extra cement, luting cement left over. Which luting cement are we supposed to use? We are supposed to use temporary luting cements for these cases. Huge frigenol is a non-eugenol temporary cement that is there. So, but whatever matters, however technique you are using, a direct and indirect or indirect direct technique, Provisional restoration is must when you consider fixed partial denture and tooth preparation is done. Most importantly, vital tooth preparation is done. There is no other go than provisional restoration. Though you can think over not giving a provisional restoration on a non-vital teeth, but at least on the abutment is required for the further assessment of the final prosthesis that is going to come in the patient's mouth of the prepared tooth. Thank you.